without lawsuits. But diplomatic and intelligence sources believe they may soon be forced to delay their retreat. While these troops leave, Western sources say others are being rushed back to reinforce besieged Afghan army strong points. For 14 days, Afghan rebels hammered a government fort at Kalat in southeast Afghanistan until it fell. The defeated garrison left behind armored personnel carriers and fuel to use them, in addition to ammunition that the rebels at once put to use. Attacks on this and other strong points are being stepped up as the rebels pour in from Pakistan. They're harassing the departing Soviets and closing off the main lines of communication to the Afghan capital. The U.S. ambassador to Pakistan says the rebels should not be criticized for refusing to give the Soviets safe passage out of the country. Afghan people have been waiting uh, 10 years for, for freedom. I don't think uh, we or anyone else in a position to tell them, uh, well, it's going a little bit too fast. Uh, you shouldn't be getting your freedom back as quickly as you are. But the rebels are heartened by the ease with which they have taken over large areas of the country in the last month. The capture of Kalat was significant. It cut the main highway between the capital and the second largest Afghan city of Kandahar. Now Kandahar itself is in danger of falling. Soviet leader Gorbachev has threatened retaliation if Pakistan continues to aid the rebels, but a rebel victory now seems closer than ever.